Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson, and this is the Earth Signs Tarot Reading for February 2024. So that just means if you are Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, then this is your general tarot reading, and it's for February 2024. So just take whatever parts of this reading that resonate with you. All right. So it looks like the main theme here is material and spiritual prosperity. But let's get a little more information to see what the message is for you earth signs. On the left, we have foundation and achievements next to the sacrifice card. And then over here on the right, we have positive movement forward next to truth. All right. Okay, so it looks like you guys have reached a certain level of material and spiritual prosperity, you know, based on these past achievements that you've accomplished through some type of sacrifice. You could have sacrificed your time, your energy, whatever the case may be, but it paid off because you have your your balance, a good balance between your home life and your actual financial security, material security, right? Now, with that also being the number six, I get the sense that like you feel like in the past you've had it better. Um, maybe you were more willing to sacrifice, more willing to create that abundance, um, that prosperity for yourself. But it looks like in the month of February, we have more positive movement forward. And that card is the number eight. So there is going to be this level of having your thoughts align with that positive movement forward so that it can then uh, manifest here in the physical reality for you. And finally, we have the truth card. And so it looks like in the month of February, you're going to have some decisions to make and you're going to really want to tap in to your internal truth to decide, you know, which way to go or to decide if the juice is worth the squeeze in a particular situation, if you know what I mean. But basically, your decisions in the month of February are going to be made based on what is good and right for you, both materially and spiritually, as you move forward throughout this month, Earth Signs. All right, so now we'll shuffle the Rider Weight deck and I'll get a little clarity on this reading for you, Earth Signs. So let's just give these a few shuffles. Okay, let's see what we have for you. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. The Knight of Cups reversed. <laughs> We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Temperance is reversed. Okay. See, I feel like the material success that you've um, reached for in the past was not very balanced because there is this lack of emotional support or you yourself may have been, you know, emotionally detached from what it is you were doing. It was more like a... Um, Doing the same thing over and over to accumulate more and more pentacles, right? But that leads to this temperance reverse, which is like an imbalance. So really you were sacrificing your feeling good over um, making money, really. Basically, you would rather work to make money and not work on your relationships or how it is that you truly feel about where you are in your life, right? But with this showing up in your reading today and the main theme being the material and spiritual prosperity, I feel like in the month of February, you're going to recognize where there's been this imbalance, emotionally speaking. Um, so therefore, that will help you when it comes to making future decisions on your movement forward because you can have both. You can have material 
as well as spiritual prosperity. It does not have to be one or the other earth signs. And I know sometimes it's hard because you're earth signs. And so you see things as they are here in the physical world. Therefore, a lot of times to earth signs, money equals success, right? But there's this thing missing if you're only focused on the material, and that is the spiritual. So I feel like there's going to be an integration of those two. You're going to find more truth in your life because you will be connecting more with what it is you truly want spiritually and emotionally in the month of February. And that will lead to, in the end, it's going to lead to this positive movement forward. But sometimes the truth hurts too. So you're going to realize maybe where you've done something wrong. People in your life have done something wrong. Just as long as you follow truth and try to find that balance within yourself, you're going to experience that positive movement forward. All right, now I'm going to get a card for advice from the Queen of the Moon Oracle for you Earth signs for February 2024. What advice do we have? Oh, look at this. I got two cards. The first one is new beginnings. It's beginnings is what it says. Again, this is the number two. So I feel like as you follow your inner truth, because that card was the number 20, uh, you're basically going to be opening this portal that will help you to step into a new beginning in your life. Again, that new beginning is going to be where your life will have less sacrifice because you'll be able to integrate material and spiritual at the same time rather than trying to sacrifice one for the other. Do you know what I mean? And look, this portal you'll be opening up as you follow your inner truth is a beautiful green garden. It's beautiful. And if I remember correctly, Earth Signs, you guys have been in this energy of a new beginning for a while. So just know that you're still on your way there. You're still doing it. So in the month of February, it's about finding that balance. It's all about that balance. And the second piece of advice, we got was the patience card. Again, it looks like she's got this portal opening up right into the cosmos. So I do feel like it's um, as you walk into this new beginning, as you integrate the material and the spiritual into your life and follow your inner truth, this is going to be a process that will require you to have some patience because all of these things don't just happen overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? So just know that as long as you continue to take the proper steps, the positive movement forward, you know, as long as you're doing the right things at the right times to create the balance and the motion forward, then you're going to get there, even if it takes longer than you thought it was going to take initially. Now, with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups reversed, I was just gazing at those two cards and I feel this like this desire to share your emotions in some way, shape or form, but a reluctance to do so. And that could be because of this imbalance you've created because you think that, you know, life is only what you see here in the physical, in the material, but there's something else happening in spirit. And so Maybe as you connect to your inner truth, you'll start to understand what it is that you want to express emotionally to another person in your life. Okay, Earth Signs, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the Wisdom of the Oracle deck now. I'm going to give this deck a few shuffles, and then we'll be pulling three cards as a final message for Earth Signs for February 2024. Okay, yeah, the first card we have here is the higher power card. Notice the key on our forehead with all the light just beaming from there. I feel like the key this month for you, Earth Signs, really is going to seek that spiritual, seeking that spiritual part of yourself, the higher power, connecting with your source to recognize that it's not all just what you're creating here in the physical. There are other aspects that have been ignored you know, and it's causing an imbalance. So you're going to recognize that truth. 
And then look at here, message in a bottle. Again, I feel like there's something that you want to express, but you're wearing this mask. You're not sure. You're not sure how you want to share these emotions with someone, someone who's either in your life or not. But I feel like there's something you want to say, but it's like you're not real sure how to get there, right? Finally, the last one is breathe. So this card is just all about connecting with the inner peace that exists within yourself. Maybe now is a good time to um, not worry so much what you need to share with others in regards to your emotions, but to spend that emotional time and energy on yourself and finding that internal balance, that temperance where you can have a solid emotional life and a solid spiritual life. Because look, your main theme is material and spiritual prosperity. And you can create the spiritual prosperity the same way that you have already learned in the past to create that material prosperity. But it's all going to start with breathing into it. Basically finding that inner peace. Letting go of things that that you've left unsaid. If you can't find the courage to say it, then don't waste your time emotionally on it anymore. I feel like wasting your time emotionally on this thing that you're not sure you even want to connect with is literally holding you back from finding that material and spiritual prosperity. Not saying it'll be impossible for you, but it is more difficult for you in that sense. Because it's like bringing your attention into something that isn't really aligning with your deepest truth if you can't even express it, right? So if you can't really figure out how you're feeling or why you're feeling the way you're feeling about a certain situation, maybe it's time to shelf it, seek a higher power to just meditate and pray. Breathe, meditate, pray. <laughs> That is literally the way that you can connect with your power source. And, and prayer isn't just asking for things to happen. Prayer is about seeking your higher power, your own higher power, as a source of inner guidance and wisdom that you can pull from anytime you need it in your life. All right, Earth Signs. So I do see that you guys have definitely this energy that you can connect with that's very positive to move you forward. Um, there is a little disconnect from the emotions this month. Maybe you really do just want to get busy, get to work on something that you've been putting off for a while. And that's why you're kind of shelving emotionally, uh, shelving those emotions. But I do feel like as you open yourself up, new portals in your thinking will become open to you and new pathways will basically be laid out before you as you just continue with your positive motion forward in the month of February. All right, you earth signs, don't forget to click the like button down below if you like this reading and let me know in the comment section as well if this reading resonates with you. I love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.